hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video we are going to talk about uh, static feature control so this is my application okay so uh, if i try to create a new instance okay what are the mandatory fields i need to give nothing that is something called the order id which is so to know it's mandatory let's check that is mandatory or not no it does not so that was my primary key right so um, what exactly we are trying is we need to set some of the columns as a mandatory some of the columns is read only okay so in this case this order id i would like to do it as uh, you know read only in the ui because i don't want consumer to uh, generate a primary key for this uh, order right uh, then the customer id okay uh, it's some uh, something like a mandatory to this uh, order likewise you know order date and amount fields should be a mandatory fields okay uh, let's see how we can do that with the behavior definition uh, uh, how do we enable those uh, you know features so what you have to do is just use this field syntax okay then control plus first i would like to set read only for uh, my primary key so there is a keyword here called read only so use this so here i can provide uh, my primary key which is order id okay so you activate this okay let's go back and quickly test the other id i'll do a create again okay so now it looks fine right and i set the read only when my order id primary key uh, will become read only in the ui okay so do for mandatory fields so same thing field to give them your mandatory create keyword okay so what are the fields i need to include first is amount then customer id then order date okay activate this so what what basically the wrap framework uh, you know, takes is like uh, by this mandatory create so it will check for while creating instance it will check for this uh, columns amount customer id and order date whether it has values or not if it does not has values then simply it will raise the error message okay so i have not done any you know uh, validation part here to checking uh, you know whether the user post amount or customer id order date everything will be taken care by framework here okay let's quickly go back and test again okay create now so you could see here the customer id become a, a mandatory here and likewise order about right so let's say like um, uh, I, okay let's try to create it now so it says enter a value for the uuid field okay so uh, i okay it's something you know uuid field customer id is a uuid if i give random field for this so even it will say as uh, you know uh, enter a grid in the following format right even the data type for the particular columns will be you know uh, validated from the framework okay, okay. so i don't have any uh, uh, customer id number maybe i'll check it back in with uh, some of other instance okay let's take this i give it here and i can give it uh, some date and i can give it some amount so when i try to create now see uh, our values get uh, you know uh, populated now right so yeah so it's uh, with this static feature uh, uh, control we can uh, control the columns of uh, you know, the ui basically 
so if you like the video please do thumbs up and subscribe for uh, more videos thank you for watching have a great day